CAR T cell therapy uh, represents another example of a treatment that needs a multidisciplinary team. Uh, so, of course, the uh, hematologist, at least for the time, might eventually be uh, the center of uh, the treatment of these patients. But we have to recognize um, that uh, these treatments are very effective, but they also have uh, some uh, quite clear and well recognized uh, right now side effects uh, that will need other specialist supports, in this case, basically ICU and the neurology. So the two most important uh, side effects uh, of CAR T cell therapy are um, the cytokine, uh, cytokine release syndrome or CRS, uh, which is basically related to the massive activation of um, T cell lymphocytes in the body of the patient after the CAR T cell infusion and the secondary activation of macrophages and other cells and the uh, massive, if I can say, release of different uh, cytokines in, in the blood of the patient uh, that basically produce a quite complex syndrome which initially is being characterized by fever, eventually hypotension that can respond to fluid, but that eventually the patient needs to be transferred to ICU because a refractory hypotension uh, to the usual drugs or because of respiratory insufficiency and eventually intubation. So the um, uh, basic treatment for CRS is the use of tocilizumab, uh, which uh, normally is quite effective in reversing, in reverting this uh, side effect and eventually a second line corticosteroids. The second side effect, which also is uh, very characteristic of CAR T cell infusion and it usually happens quite early after uh, the infusion of CAR T cells is the neurological toxicity, which is also quite varied that can start with some very subtle neurological deficiencies, but that can eventually evolve to coma that also might need the transfer of the patient to ICU and eventually intubation. And here corticosteroids are the uh, first line therapy uh, for neuro neurological toxicity. Uh, we cannot forget other toxicities that maybe are not so characteristics um, uh, of CAR T cells, but uh, that they are also important to be taken into consideration. So hematological toxicity, basically because we are giving um, a lymphodepleting therapy to these patients that sometimes don't have a very good bone marrow reserve, and these patients are at a high risk of develop of developing infectious complications by opportunistic uh, microorganisms um, that we need to take care of. Uh, these patients might need uh, both platelet and red blood cell transfusions. And of course, there are other side effects that can eventually happen when the patient has been uh, discharged, and um, but they are really uh, less uh, less frequent.